and about five persons have reportedly died in a building collapse incident in Aba, the commercial nerve of Abia State, in the early hours of Wednesday after torrential rain on Tuesday. Information about the incident is still sketchy, but available reports indicate that one person who was rescued from the rubble is receiving treatment at an undisclosed hospital. It was gathered that the deceased and the survivors were homeless residents that usually take refuge in the building, still undergoing construction at night. The cause of the collapse has been attributed to the use of uh, substandard materials by the contractor. And joining us uh, now is a journalist from Umwahia, the state capital, Samson Eze. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, I can. Brilliant. Good morning. Good morning. What is the latest on the unfortunate incident? Well, the, the latest at the moment is that the state government has uh, declared the developer of the collapsed building at 85 Azik Werewolves wanted. That's the latest. And then the site engineer, one Mr. Basi Apokwam, is already in custody. And rescue operation is ongoing at the site. Yesterday, the government agency was equally there. Uh, some other bodies. Uh, one survivor was brought out out of the rock was alive yesterday. And then uh, the other two, two females and one male, were pulled out like this. You remember when the incident happened? There was this conflicting report about the number of uh, casualties. Some persons reported five, but the government authorities are reporting just three at the moment. Okay, uh, has it been confirmed that besides the rain, uh, substandard materials used for the construction also contributed to the building collapse? Is there any confirmation on that? Well, we, we, apart from what we got from the venue, I mean, from the site, uh, the government authorities are saying that aside the usage of substandard materials, that the building was actually constructed without approval from authorities. So, you know, Aba is an emerging city, so the tendency of having buildings uh, spring up here and there, even without approval, is just there. But it is left for the authorities to step up surveillance and then be on the proactive side of things. Is this something that happens often in the state? Yes, in Umwa here, the state capital, we had a building collapse some months ago. Then you go back to Aba, just last year, we had another building collapse, a multi-story building at Samet Road around Ari area. And it goes to tell you what is happening. It's not different from what is happening in some other cities. Buildings without due approval and then uh, professionals not being used for such exercise. And, um, and from what you've described, this is obviously a risk uh, to uh, residents in the city. Is, has the government made any moves in the past that maybe would have prevented this from happening? At, at the moment, even the rescue agencies that, are, that got to the venue arrived very late. Arrived very late. And uh, there's not been any serious proactive measures taken. Uh, unless you're calling for an audit of some of the buildings that are ongoing. But uh, an unconfirmed report has it that that building came up within uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. It may be a horridly uh, building that uh, sprang up from that area of the city. So the authorities really need to do much. The state emergency management agency has not been up to, up, up to the task, uh, actually. I think they need to be equipped very well so that uh, they can respond to some of these emergencies. And Abia State is a two-city state. Aba is as big as the, the administrative capital of Omaha. So if you're stationing an emergency agency, you have to equip them very well, both in Aba and uh, in Umaya. Just some, just few weeks ago, we had a fire incident at uh, one of the biggest markets there. And before the truck could even get to the scene of the incident, they, they were already managed and all that. So they, they really need to step up their emergency response. I'm talking about the state government. All right, thank you very much, uh, Sam Sinese, for speaking with us. And um, we wish uh, the survivors uh, the best. Thank you, Osaro.